Hello and welcome to the BB Racing Channel. Today I am showing you highlights of the 10th and final round of the FIA Manufacture Series from Gran Turismo Sport. The event is in Suzuka, Japan and the race is 18 laps long with all three tyre compounds to be used, the soft, medium and hard. We will start on the soft tyres and after a decent qualifying performance we line up on the grid in second position behind the Audi TT. It always is a rolling start for the Manufacture Series and we get the race underway chasing the Audi TT in my McLaren 650S. The Audi gets a slow start and we get a good run going down into Turn 1. We don't want to rock the boat too much and he goes defensive so we slip down the outside and we feed back into position. The Audi driver quickly settles and should be strong in the early part of this 40 minute race. We are closely followed by two Jaguars who are in close attendance and hungry for the top two spots. Here he is Rory is in 7th position with Basic Ollie in 8th and a big shout out to them for the amazing content they create on their YouTube channels. Moving on to lap 3 and the Audi is starting to struggle with his tyres and this is the perfect opportunity for the McLaren to close the gap as it looks after the tyres much better. Finishing lap 3 and starting lap 4, we're pulling away from the Jaguars. We need to really get past this Audi as quick as we can though, to utilise the pace of the McLaren with the better tyres. All the different cars have unique advantages but Gran Turismo runs a balance of performance test to make the racing as fair as possible between the different mates of car for each category. The Audi is still travelling at a decent pace for most part of the lap, especially on the straights. But not having much patience, we disturb proceedings. The Audi has gone defensive way too much for my liking, so hard racing is required from here. We get pushed wide coming through 130R, but it was to be expected as two cars don't go through there. We both managed to survive the penalty system and this only intensifies our battle for the lead of the race. Lap 5 and the Audi goes defensive again, with 3rd place closing in on us. The Audi is causing me big problems as it's too quick down the straight for me to get past. Doing a good job and locking off most opportunities to pass, we're trying to create an opportunity by forcing them into a mistake. And in doing this, I'll make a mistake of my own and run wide. Nearly lose it, but we get it back on track and we just about manage to hold on to second position. 
but with the dirty tyres we're going to come under severe pressure from the third position French driver. We catch back up with the Audi by the end of the lap and he pits to get some new tyres and this is our chance to get our head down and put in some good laps with our old tyres. End of lap 7 now and 2nd and 3rd position pit which leaves our fellow McLaren driver Rory in 2nd position. The Audi is down in 7th position so keeping an eye on his position gives me an idea where I will filter out if I make a pit stop. I believe most drivers was going for soft tyres at the pit stop. We are going to pit at the end of this lap and we are going to bang on the medium tyres to see how we get on with those. Rory pits at the same time as we do and as we exit the pits the Audi has got over a 4 second lead from his early pit stop. Not feeling the best on the first lap with the medium tyres we decide to pit for the softs again. This may also confuse the Audi driver's evaluation on my race. We exit the pits in 6th position and just behind the Ferrari. We are now 14 and a half seconds off the lead Audi TT car. It doesn't take long to quickly close in and get the move done coming under the bridge on the 5th position Ferrari and we skip then to lap 12 where my sights are set on the 4th place Jaguar. The gap to the lead Audi car is down to under 12 seconds now and we need that gap at around 8 seconds to be in with a chance of a win by the time the Audi comes in for his medium tyres. We closely follow the French driver in the Jaguar and we wait for the right chance to gain the 4th position. The chance comes as we exit the double right under and go under the bridge. Very fair driving from the Jaguar driver who leaves me enough room not to battle and cost us both time in the process.
After a few more corners though, the French driver in his Jaguar loses it under braking and ends up in the tyres. With all that going on, the Ram Gauntlet pits from the lead of the race in his Audi and we was around 10 seconds behind so as we come down the pit straight we're going to see how far behind when he exits the pits. As we can see on the right hand side he's exiting now and we're just short of the mark of overlapping him. We are in range though so my soft tyres have got about 2 or 3 laps left of premium use to get the overtake done and knowing that the Audi is on the medium tyres makes this even more of a possibility. With the help of Slipstream, we reel the Audi driver in towards the end of the lap. We apply pressure to him and we get ready to capitalise on any mistakes or any chances to gain the position from him. The main focus though is to not stay behind him too long because the longer we're behind, the harder it will be. On to lap 14 and we're around eight and a half seconds behind Rory the leader. The top two have an extra stop to make though as they have not run the medium or the hard tire. The chance comes when we exit the uphill left under and the Audi runs wide. We sneak up on the inside and use a bit of grass, but it's tight as we come round for the double right under. We make the move work and we're now into third position. There must have been some problems ahead because we've closed dramatically on the leaders and Rory has lost the lead of the race, so unfortunate events have been happening for him. As we come to the end of lap 14, the Jaguar pits from the lead of the race and Rory takes the lead. This only happens for a couple of laps until the end of lap 16 and then Rory pits to get his medium or hard tyres on. We take the lead of the race and we only have a couple of laps now to hold it down. We head into the pits to get the hard tyres on for the final lap and the gauntlet is closely following.
The Ferrari has quietly kept himself out of the way and come through to take the final spot on the podium and a fantastic drive by him to get the third position. The Audi driver has lived up to his name, the Gauntlet, by laying down the challenge and it's been a dual battle all the way to the end. An intense tactical race that came down to fine margins. I really hope you have enjoyed the race and also enjoyed the season of racing. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time.